So this is my life here in Brazil, which I love to share with you guys each and every single time. As you can see, most of my videos, I like to do them even when I go out with my family. You might be wondering why there is so much noise inside this particular shopping. Yes, uh, it was during the carnival times here in Brazil. And uh, it was actually my first time uh, having experience, you know, like carnival in a shopping, in a shopping mall. Yes, I don't know if you have you have that kind of experience to let me know at the comment section but this is actually my first time experiencing carnival in the shop for me i wouldn't have known what would have uh, been my life if i were to be living back in my own country which is ghana yes for you guys who don't really know me and you are new on this channel uh, i'm originally from ghana okay and i've been living here in brazil for the past 15 years and i am really loving it and it's the reason why i'm sharing this with you guys I hate to say this about my country, which is Ghana, and uh, yeah, I still have to say it anyway. Uh, being black here in Africa, uh, in Brazil, okay, uh, especially black from Africa, uh, I will say it has been the best thing, best thing that has ever happened in my life, and I'm going to tell you why. Back in Ghana, a country in the west of Africa, very popularly known for uh, recent uh, uh, black diaspora migrating to Africa, is pop 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 let me just say a popular destination for most black uh, diasporans moving back to Ghana. And I will say this, um, I've never felt comfortable when I was then living in Ghana and this is why the kind of love and the kind of treatment that I'm getting out here in Brazil uh, in fact has never happened before in my life back in Ghana or let me just say in Africa because I've been to a lot of African countries and I will say this uh, it has always been a big challenge when it comes to uh, uh, an African moving to a different African country First, talking about the challenges that I had to go through when I was in Ghana, which is my home country, uh, it was, you know, like tribalism. Tribalism was, you know, it was a big deal. It was really a big deal. I don't know if you are African, if you have had your own fashion of this kind of experience, let me know in the comment section. Yes, yeah, it was a carnival going on in a shopping mall. You know, this is how uh, the carnival is being celebrated. Any part of 
you know, Brazil, there is a way and how they organize to celebrate, uh, what do you call it, the carnival. So in this particular space here, it's a, it's a shopping mall space where the, what do you call it, uh, uh, the carnival is going on, you see people dancing and singing and all that. Yes, uh, Brazil has become my home, let me just say. My home, yes. Because it's home even more than my, my, my country of origin. And there is a lot of happiness for me here in Brazil than when I was living back in my own country. Here in Brazil, I have gotten the opportunity to try many things. Many things that I wouldn't have been able to get the opportunity to even experience it when I was back in Ghana. Yes, so Brazil is, let me just say, it's my home. Yes, it's simply my home. Yes, and let me just say this, I'm not going back to Africa or I'm not going back to Ghana. And uh, let me just say my life is simply here and I'm much more focused in investing and in making better things for myself here and utilizing the opportunities out here. So, you know, I, I simply don't think it's really worth it to, you know, like to risk everything for, you know, like for Africa. Because, you know, <laughs> we are not united. And there, is, there is no hope. It's simply like a continent without hope. Like, hope is missing, I'm telling you. So imagine, this wouldn't have been me if uh, I was in Africa. This wouldn't have been me. I would have been much more, you know, focused on how to get my three square meal than, you know, like to make some special time for myself like this to have, you know, like sort of relaxed time. So my message is very simple to you guys. Yes, Blacks diaspora, Blacks from Europe, US and any part of the world. Uh, Africa is simply not worth, you know, like risking it all for. Trust me, we are from Africa and we are telling you this. Guys, let's try some reality game too as well. I'm going to try some reality game. This is going to be my second time because I'm thinking about buying the Quest 3. So since I'm thinking about buying the Quest 3, I have to try it out to see if it is good, then I can buy it. Just imagine yourself being in a country where you have no connection, like you don't have any relative, you don't have any friends, but as soon as you get there, you are being loved, you are being given much more opportunities and stuff like that. Yes, it's Brazil. Brazil, that's the only place you get this kind of lifestyle. I'm telling you. On this day, I decided to try out this MetaQuest 2 headset 
and I simply fell in love with the headset. So I'm planning to even get myself the latest version, which is the Meta Quest 3, which a whole lot of people say is very good. It does a lot of things. It gives you a better, you know, like space computing. So yeah. So basically, this is how I escape, you know, like <laughs> when, you know, like my kids are not around. This is what I do to escape my time. But I also spend time with them. As you can see, I'm spending time with my kids here. Yes, I don't know how you also do with your kids, but let me know in the comment section how you also spend time with your kids. But anyway, this is how uh, I live my life here in Brazil as a foreigner, you know, like black from Africa. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, and then I just try it.